Trail has got her debut single out. It's called Humming Chain, and I'm pleased to say she joins us now. Camille, how does it feel to have that debut single out? Pretty cool. Dreamed about releasing music for a long time now, so it's pretty cool that it's finally happened. Tell us how you you dreamt it was going to happen. What was the the thoughts behind it? The musicians? Just share that with the listener. Uh, Well, I started piano when I was like eight, and I always sang and wrote songs. And I guess I just always dreamed about being a songwriter and releasing music and being able to look on like Spotify and seeing your music on there and then yeah it's pretty cool that I can actually do that now. Growing up who were the people that you admired listened to and learned from? Fleetwood Mac would be number one definitely. Growing up I listened to like a lot of Credence as well. Definitely very influenced by Fleetwood Mac and Laura Jones and Shane Nicholson as well. Was that mum or dad's music? Where did you access Fleetwood Mac and and Credence Clearwater? That was pretty much both mum and dad. Uh, They had a pretty wide range of music. We listened to a lot of like 50s to 80s country rock and then we listened to like African music like Lady Blacksmith and Barzo. So we listened to a, a very big wide range of music which was cool. I know we've got you coming up in uh, the Junk Bar in October the 4th, but um, is it yep. the best way to find you where you're playing live through your Facebook and social media pages? Yeah, definitely through them. I post, I'll post everything on Facebook when I have gigs coming up and Instagram, so that's the best way. Yeah. And what sort of music are we expecting to see you play at one of your gigs? I've recorded an album, so I've got quite a collection of my own songs, so If people come and see me live, they'll get a little sneak peek of songs from the upcoming album. You mentioned Shane Nicholson. Did you uh, record all of those with Shane? I did, yeah. That was pretty amazing. I've always been a fan of his music since I was like eight years old. (laughs) So I've always loved his music and I was looking for a producer to do my album um, and I kept coming across other albums that I liked and found that he was produced them and recorded them so I found an email and I was like oh it can't hurt so I just sent him some demos and then he replied and said yeah I love your demos give me a call so I think I screamed and ran around my apartment building (laughs) for like 20 minutes. Camille tell us some of the things you want to achieve in your music career after the album. I definitely just love to make music my one and only career um, and just tour around play as much as I can my ultimate, ultimate dream is to play at the Grand Ole Opry. That's my bucket list. So maybe one day, fingers crossed. The debut single is called Humming Chain. Tell our listeners a little bit of the story behind Humming Chain. Yeah, so I wrote the song about the African-American black slavery. And I just listened to Billie Holiday's song, Strange Fruit. And it's about the same, similar sort of thing. It really inspired me to write the song that's actually about something and about something important that people should hear about and kind of spark their interest. So I guess the song kind of points the finger and it's at people who weren't involved and it's like, um, like, you did nothing about this and this is what happened. So it's supposed to be a little bit in your face and confronting. Camille, great to catch up with you tonight. The new single is called Humming Chain and we're going to be playing that now. If people want to follow and find out when the album is coming out soon, as you mentioned, they'll be able to do that on all of your social media? Yes. They will. This is Camille Trail and the single is Humming Chain.